Welcome back, guys. Now, if you're Another. part of Control Group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. What I was saying, welcome back guys to another episode of Portal 2 with me, Zerkby. Where I was really interrupted. Hurtful. Alright, let's see here. Can I do something like this? Oh. I guess not. That just looks wrong. Screw you, game. Boom. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. a pro at portal to I am yup I am No, I didn't do it.
Okay. Before I can fall in the water. That works too. Oh my god, this is so hard. You, If you guys can hear, like, background noise, it's because I have my window open and it's just like kids playing in the background. So, I'm just saying that in case you guys hear, hear it. Really, I gotta redo this. But I don't gotta redo plastering all the crap on the wall. Okay. Oh, my missile is there. That would be thing. Okay, I did it right the first time, but somehow that messed up. <laughs> Whatever, good to know I got it now. Ooh. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. Shut the up. lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Did it, and I actually do know what that achievement is for. It is for without touching the ground. Just put something right there. There we go. Come on. 
down. Let me go. What am I supposed to do? Cube just go. There it is. Oh my god, stand still. Oh god. Stupid, but there is a room. Why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fire? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm not fired, but whoever that was, they toasted off because they fired. So they crispy and toasted. I'm talking of toast. I want some toast. <laughs> I haven't had toast in a long time. I want some toast now. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. What is this? Okay. That is. What's in here? What is this to? Dave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow Ooh. managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Whoa. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, if you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. <laughs> On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us. So, hang in there. Peanut water. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30%. Okay. 
All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. Oh, okay. What's this? What's this? Ship overboard. Is this like the Titanic or something? Just be that, I don't know. I don't know. Cool little door. It's, it's cool. I don't know. Where am I supposed to go? Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Well then. That's one way to get back to the starting area, you don't just shy. Oh man, that means I have to redo all this again. Wasn't that hard. Okay. Okay, let's not make that, let's not make that, um, that mistake again, shall we? Oh my god, them kids are loud if you can hear them. Keep to the left, okay, what's in here? Okay. Oh my god, them kids are so loud. Hmm, there's nothing useful in here. That kid needs a shut on mouth. Okay. Oh, wait, what's this? Control room. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's glass. <laughs> I stabbed you. That's hysterical. She's a potato. Did it. I got a potato, potato dance. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. Do the potato dance. But this is Zerkby, and I'm out, guys. Peace.